Hi, today we're going to be talking about unknown numbers in addition and subtraction. Let's get started. So for addition, we want to find the value of z. So we have 11 plus z is equal to 21, and our big question is z is equal to what? So let's see how to tackle this. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, because we know that multiplic I mean addition and subtraction are inverses, we're going to say 21 minus 11 is equal to 10. So we're going to say that c must equal 10 because here's why. 11 plus 10 is equal to 21. So c equal 10. Now this is a little bit of precursor to pre-algebra and algebra, so I would pay really close attention to this. So now, let's look at the next one. So we have, we're going to do one with subtraction. Oops, that made it look like an equal sign. So we're going to do one with subtraction. And here's the problem. We have 239 minus z is equal to 59. Now we're going to do, this is kind of going back to the fact family. We're going to do 239 minus 59, okay, and we get 0, right, because we're doing columns. We need to borrow 1, so we have 13 minus 5, which is 8, and then this becomes 1. So 180. So we can now, we kind of know that z must be 180 now, but let's check. So we're going to do 239 minus 180 is equal to 9 here, and then again we're going to borrow, so we have 5, 1, 1, 0, and this is equal to 59. Another way we could have checked is doing 50 is doing 180 plus 59. And this would be using the fact that of inverses, so we have 9 here, we have a 13 here, 239. So either way, we get 239 right, for the final answer. So C must be 180. And this concludes our lesson. So I hope that helped, and I hope to see you soon.